Now on the back side, we're going to be exploring vertical and horizontal lines. Every time they give you an equation, x is equal to a number, in this case 3, or y is equal to a number, in this case uh, 3, then we are going to have a vertical or horizontal line. A graph that's given to you, x is equal to 3, is a vertical line that, cross, that crosses the point 3 comma 0. And what we do, if you remember, this is your x-axis, so we're going to go on the x-axis, we're going to go to the number 3, 1, 2, 3, and then just expand it. If it's y is equal to a number, it's going to be a horizontal line, and it crosses a point zero three. So we're going to go to the y-axis, and it has to cross the y-axis at 3, 1, 2, 3, and we're just going to expand it. Make an arrow on each end. Now one easy way to remember this is write down x, y, vh on top. So you can think of uh, Van Helsing, Vanessa Hudgens. So if we give you x is equal to 3, you can write this down. Then x, all that x will be vertical lines. If y is equal to a number, will be horizontal line. So Vanessa Hudgens, Van Helsing, or anybody else that you guys can think of that has an issue of VH. Might be a close friend of yours. Uh, let's go through example number 4. And we're going to be doing this together. On example number four, grab the following equations. So as soon as I see y is equal to negative two, I'm going to write down, okay, x, y, van Helsing, y is equal to, so we know it's going to be a horizontal. And I want you guys to write down horizontal. That way you guys can't remember what type of line you guys are working with. Remember horizontal, the horizons, it's like your horizon is going to be from side to side. It has to cross the y-axis at negative 2. So it's going to cross the y-axis at negative 2. 1, 2, and then from there you just expand it. And that'll be your line. X is equal to a number. So X is equal to 3 will be a vertical line. So let's write down the word vertical line here. So vertical. And it has to cross the X axis at 3. 1, 2, 3. And then just make a full line. And you can use your ID to be able to make straight lines. The last one, y is equal to a number, y is going to be a horizontal line, so write down horizontal, and it has to cross the y-axis at 4, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm just going to expand it. Now, for example number five, try example number five, see what you get, and then we can work it out. Go ahead and pause it. Great. Example number five, graph the following equations. X is equal to a number, so I'm going to write down the word, the X, Y, Van Helsing. So if it's X is equal to a number, it's going to be a vertical line. And write down the word vertical, so that way I know that you actually thought the process. Negative 1, so you have to cross that x-axis at negative 1. So I'm going to go to the left, and then I'm just going to expand the line.
Now remember that the reason is vertical is because any point on this line, any of those points, that x value of that point will be negative 1. So this point will be negative 1, negative 4. This point will be negative 1, 3. All of those values, the x value is negative 1. But you can just think of Van Eysel Hagen's Van Helsing to be able to remember. Y is equal to a number is going to be a horizontal. All the y values have to be 1, so now going to the y axis is going to be 1, and then I'm just going to expand. If you think about it, this, any point on that line, this will be negative 3 comma 1, this will be 5 comma 1, and I can continue, all the y values are 1. So y is equal to number is going to be a horizontal line. X is equal to number is going to be a vertical line. The last one. If you notice y is equal to 3x, it's neither one of those two. The, we can add 0. To graph it, it's already in slope intercept form, so we can just highlight the 0, highlight the y-axis. The y-intercept is 0. My slope is 3 over 1, so it's going to be positive up 3 to the right 1, once again up 3 to the right 1, or I can do the opposite. I'm not going to connect all those points, and that will give me a perfect graph. To double check that, make sure that I graph the correct lemma, I'll write the word slope. My slope is positive for the graph, for the equation it's positive, so it matches. Uh, thanks. Uh, have a great day and please email me if you have any questions.